In order to understand the structure of water, you must first have an understanding of the structure of atoms and of how and why atoms bond together to become stable. So we will start this unit with a review of atomic structure. When we look at the periodic table of the elements, one can see that the periodic table is organized by atomic number. We can see that the first element listed in the periodic table is the hydrogen atom, and it has an atomic number of one. The second atom listed in the periodic table is the helium atom, and it has an atomic number of two. The third element listed in the periodic table is the lithium atom, and it has an atomic number of three, and so on. Great, now we know that the periodic table is organized by atomic number. But what does the atomic number tell us about the structure of an atom? There are three important subatomic particles that are the building blocks of atoms. One of the subatomic particles, called a neutron, has no charge and is found in the nucleus of the atom. Another subatomic particle, called the proton, is positively charged and is also found in the nucleus of the atom. And the third subatomic particle, called the electron, has a negative charge and is found orbiting around the nucleus of the atom. The atomic number of an atom indicates the number of protons, or positive charges, in the nucleus of an atom. And it is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom that distinguishes one type of atom from another. Notice that as the atomic number or number of protons in an atom changes, so does the atom. The atomic number also tells us how many electrons or negative charges are orbiting the nucleus of a neutral atom. Let's take a look at the carbon atom as an example. As you can see, the atomic number for carbon is six. This tells us that the number of protons in the nucleus of a carbon atom is six, and the number of electrons orbiting the nucleus of a neutral carbon atom is also six. Now you try it. 